Alrighty, so Alrighty, so today's talk with a doc, I just wanted to talk about going back to work and life. It's not just, you know, work. There's more to life than work. So, um, well, at least in Colorado, we're still under the, the now safer at home model. But um, I think it's, I think some people have some, maybe some anxiety around going back to work. Um, and what that means and and going out and doing things a little more like we used to but certainly not fully like we used to because not everything is open yet so me i can't advance my slide there we go so today um we're really going to talk a lot well a little this isn't a very long presentation we're not taking two hours um, we're going to talk about risk reduction and how to prepare to, to possibly encounter more risk and what you can do for prevention. So risk reduction is really, a risk is determined by your exposures, what you're doing for pre prevention, how healthy you are and your immune system is, and how your body responds. So. Um, what we see in COVID-19 is not always that your immune system has a problem, but how your body is responding um, is the, could be the issue. And I have a typo there, so sorry about that. Um, so when we, when we move from stay at home to safer at home, we can encounter more risks. So this is why for vulnerable populations, for older folks, they're really still under the stay at home um, because we don't want them to have those increased risks. And the idea between all of these orders, stay at home, safer at home, is still to keep the curve flattened. So like, let's talk about that flattened curve for a second. So instead of a high, number of cases, a peak and a high decline, which would overwhelm our healthcare system somewhere you know, in this area. What uh, public health wise was trying to be done was to flatten that curve. So it rose, but didn't exceed our healthcare capacity and extended. So the curve is flatter, but where you have the high peak and then coming down, is a shorter time period. When you flatten the curve, it's a longer time period. Um, what happens when you do that, and, and what was intended to happen, is the number of exposures and infections aren't as great. That also means it takes longer to develop herd immunity. So herd immunity is what you get um, with other viruses and things. Um, where everyone, or not everyone, but a large percentage of the population has had the virus, they develop antibodies to that virus and it can keep um, new infections and um, um, consequences for the herd or the community you live in lower. So when you flatten the curve, you also flatten our ability to build herd immunity. So it's gonna take us longer to build the herd immunity. Now you also build herd immunity with vaccines. Um, um, of course, herd immunity isn't that important when you have a cure. So right now we don't have a vaccine and we don't have uh, well-studied cures. Let's just say it that way. Uh, I'm trying to be politically correct. Um, but what we're doing so that we don't overwhelm the healthcare system is decreasing our herd immunity. So that's gonna take longer to build. That is the most natural way to build immunity is the herd immunity. So this safer at home, well, yeah, you're still safer if you stay at home and act like we're still under a stay at home order. Um, you're still safer if you wear a mask for a couple of reasons, safer for you, keeps you safer when you're around other people, safer for other people in case you are an asymptomatic carrier. So masks are still important, 
It's also important if it's your own cloth mask that you made to eat, that you wash those on a regular basis. Um, it's also important to maintain distance because we know these droplets carry six, 10, sometimes even more feet. So, you know, when you sneeze, a very forceful ex uh, explosion of air, um, make sure you cover that, cover a cough so those droplets are maintained. So if you have a mask on, you're, you're coughing on your own face, which granted is not pleasant um, to have a sneeze trapped within your mask, but you know, you're, you're protecting those around you. So for those of us who live with older adults or people with fragile conditions or underlying conditions, that's really important. Um, so reducing your exposure and other people's exposure is great to help flatten that curve. Um, if we knew how we were going to respond to this virus and we really don't know that, you can be virtually asymptomatic, have no issue whatsoever, or you can end up in the ICU. So a huge variance in what can happen. And we don't know how an individual is going to respond. If we knew that, we might say, well, let me just expose myself to that coronavirus so I can build immunity, which, yeah, that would help our herd immunity, but that would overwhelm our healthcare system potentially and could cause you serious life-threatening issue. So instead, we're flattening the curve, we're probably delaying this herd immunity, but we can keep ourselves and our immune system healthy and decrease um, the unwanted responses, ideally. So let's talk about that a little. So decreasing your risk, I talked about that a lot. Okay, so masks, six feet, you know, all that. It's why restaurants are not open for in restaurant eating right now and bars are not open. Um, and why Netflix is overrun, right? Um, and support your immune system and your general health and support your body's responses, the healthy responses. So how do you do that? You can exercise at home. Um, you can go for a walk in your neighborhood, just, you know, maintain that social distancing, have your mask on. Uh, I've been doing a lot of landscaping. My house needs landscaping. I've been staying at home more seemed like an opportune time to do landscaping. And let me tell you, shoveling rock and dispersing it around the yard, uh, I consider that some good physical activity. Um, staying healthy is also eating really well. We've been joking sort of um, about the COVID-19 pounds and that we should wear masks even at home because it will stop us from eating because we stay home, watch Netflix or Amazon Prime, and um, I don't own stock in any of those companies, and um, eat. So we're gaining weight because we're not getting our exercise. So, you know, you gotta find a balance for those things. And there's awesome resources online to help with exercise and different things. And exercise stimulates a healthy immune system response. Um, as we said, eating healthy, nutritious foods. There's a lot of people publishing fabulous recipes um, online now. There are um, uh, people uh, like sharing recipes on Facebook and there's different like the Whole Life Challenge, which you've heard us talk about, has a whole section on healthy food um, and it goes through different categories, like if you're paleo, keto, vegetarian, whatever. Um, and, and there's some really great sites. And even if you don't know how to cook, now's a great time to experiment with cooking. Um, you're home more, you, you may have time because unfortunately you're not going to the office or fortunately you are, depending on how you feel ab about that. Um, so I know at, at our house, we've been doing more of um, a state of slim sort of diet plan and we've been making some really awesome things. So, um, and, and we can share our recipes too. Um, also, so besides, you know, you are what you eat, 
yeah, you are what you ingest in general. So supportive vitamins, supplements. Um, there's a lot of talk about vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin A, um, zinc, very important. Um, and all of these support your immune system. Of course, overdosing on supplements and vitamins uh, can be an issue, but usually, you know, if we start peeing bright orange from the amount of vitamin C or B vitamins we're taking, we usually cut ourselves back. Water soluble vitamins um, are are taken care of by your kidneys, and that's why you're you get expensive urine sometimes. Fat soluble vitamins are are can be stored in your fat, and there's more of a danger with toxicity with them. So vitamin A and vitamin D are fat soluble. Um, so is vitamin E and K, um, but it takes a large amount to get toxic on those. So like vitamin A, I get from my food, leafy green vegetables. If you like liver, eat liver. It's got great vitamin A. I have a, I have a personal problem with eating liver. Uh, maybe Jill will make me something with liver in it someday and I won't know and I'll think it's fabulous, but I don't think she's done that quite yet. Frankly, I wouldn't know if she had, but um, it's a good source of vitamin A, but so are vegetables, leafy greens. Um, and vegetables are full of bioflavonoids, so they're really good to, to stock up on the vegetables. And in the beginning of all this, they seem to be what was left on the shelves. So, so we're still getting um, good quality veggies. Um, I, I kind of talked about exercise and physical activity already, so we won't talk about that. But I won't, do want to talk about stress relief, meditation, self-care. Um, as an ex-lifeguard, we were taught to take care of ourselves before anyone we're trying to rescue. So in, on the Pacific Coast, if you had a peer rescue, so you probably like jumped off the pier to save somebody. If a large wave was coming at you and you were gonna be slammed into the pier, we were actually taught to not get us slammed into the pier, even if that meant our, the victim we were trying to rescue got slammed into the pier. Because if we were not taking care of ourselves, we weren't gonna save anybody. Um, and first it was like, oh my gosh, I thought I was supposed to save them. And then I'm like, oh, okay, if I can no longer swim, then we're both drowning. So you got to take care of yourself first. Um, Jill, who is also on the webinar, does meditation with us every Monday. She does a Facebook Live meditation. It's absolutely fabulous. And, you know, it's not sitting in a difficult pose and being quiet for a half hour. She, her meditations are a little more um, interactive and guided and easy to do, even if you have never meditated before. Right, Jill? Yes. I, especially right now, I need easy, so that's what I'm teaching. <laughs> and easy is fine. Meditation doesn't have to be difficult. It's no, just a it moment to... It's such a struggle. Right. struggling enough. Exactly. So any kind of stress relief, and that might be going for a walk in your neighborhood or, you know, by the river, um, whatever works for you. It could be prayer. It could be journaling. All these are, are useful. So how can we help with all of this? We already mentioned Meditating with Jill, which is fabulous. It's on Facebook. Um, and those can always be watched later, too. You don't have to be there right when she's doing it. Um, which is fabulous. So we're building a library of online meditation. Um, we're doing immune checkups and antibody testing. So what that means is I do a quick review with you either on the phone, um, through telemedicine, um, after you fill out a, a brief, like three pages of paperwork, just so we can see how is your immune system doing? What can we do to bump your immune system function up to a good healthy level? If it needs it, you may be all good. Um, and with that, we're combining COVID antibody testing. So we check to see if you have, if your body has made any antibodies. Um, we, we also have in stock plenty of immune support vitamin supplements, vitamin C, zinc, D. We have it all in stock, I'm very happy to say. Um, for a while, some things were touch and go on getting them. We have nasal sprays, 
And it doesn't have to be just because of this COVID issue, right? Um, it's allergy season. And we have some things that can really help with allergies that I use. Um, because let me tell you, landscaping in the spring is an allergy just nightmare. So um, I, I use our stuff as well. So it's available at the office. You can call or email us and we can send you an invoice and then you can do a curbside pickup or you can order it through our online store, which is mimicares.square.site um, and order it that way. Uh, either way, and for the immune checkups, um, if you go to our webpage, there's a whole, there's a COVID page and a COVID testing page and all the information for the immune checkups is on the COVID testing page and the forms are at the very bottom of the page. And that then is sent to us uh, in a HIPAA compliant way and we'll get you set up for um, the initial phone or Zoom screening and then when to get the testing. Um, we're still doing supportive therapies and those include like IV infusions like a vitamin C or a Myers or glutathione, um, ozone. Nasal ozone for my allergies has been life-changing. Um, laser and red light therapy and other therapies. Uh, we already talked about Jill. Um, and then again, there's a resources for our COVID information on our COVID pages. We also have pages that have links to different resources on um, other health and well-being and home exercise stuff. And then also on our YouTube channel. And our YouTube channel is capital M-I-M-I, -M -I, all caps, space cares um, and that should bring up our youtube channel because we post um, these on the youtube channel the talk with the docs and some other information and stuff about the clinic videos about staff and everything are on there but also other i'm linking other informational things like the university of arizona um, andrew well center for integrative medicine has some great covid resources with integrative medicine so i have some links there for that as well and they've done some really fabulous videos um, um, on meditation and nutrition and supplements as well. So I wanted to tell you about some upcoming webinars. You'll hear more about this. So our webinars, um, we'll, do, we'll have events on Facebook about them and you'll sign up through Eventbrite and then it'll give you a Zoom link once you've registered. And um, we'll be ramping those up in the next week or two. Um, and we're gonna initially do some webinars on pain relief, uh, belly fat or weight loss, immune defense, of course, and in our last one will probably be thyroid support. They may not be exactly in this order. Um, these correlate with our master classes. So you may have heard about them. We have a pain relief master class, a belly fat master class, the immune defense master class, and coming online shortly is a thyroid uh, master class. Um, which is something you sign in for, for a, a series of lectures and things that are all online. And when you sign up for those, you get a free consult with me as well. Um, so we can talk about what's going on with you. So for example, for the immune defense, if you sign up for that masterclass, which I believe is $87, um, you get a free consult with me, an immune checkup consult, which includes antibody testing. So it's really, you get a bunch of information and, um, and a consult and the testing uh, all combined. So, so we believe educated patients are the best. Um, the more you know about the body, the better it is. So that's what these classes are all about, to help you learn more, to help us help you more. Um, and then I think that's about it. So if you need to reach us, our website is mimicares.com and you can always email us at mimi at mimicares.com. Sounded very repetitive, but works. Uh, you can always give us a call. Um, the office line is now a cell phone, so you can text that number. Um, you can, you know, do old school and actually call us or leave a voice message. If I don't pick up immediately, I will get back to you. Um, office hours are pretty constricted right now for in-office time. So it's better to call ahead and we can schedule outside of our current operating hours, which really are only Tuesday and Thursday from 10 to 3. But um, after or outside of those times, we, we are flexible on what we can do and get people in or out. And again, we're being 
um, very careful to separate um, visits in the office. So we have plenty of time to clean in between and you know, really keep those distancing measures up. And of course, when we're working with you, we will be masked, gloved, and all of that. And we expect you to also have a mask on um, when you are in clinic. Uh, so Jill, you got anything else to add? I think you covered it pretty well. Um, I'm excited about these master classes. There's a lot of good information um, that's already put together and can be very helpful. So yeah, we're doing the master classes in partnership with our, our buddies over at Go Wellness. Um, I know in the immune one, there's a video clip that I'm in um, where Reagan um, teases me about my whole liver eating issue. Um, but um, yeah, they're, uh, so they're in partnership with our Go Wellness uh, clinic partners. And, and um, so you'll see a bunch of different people on there. It's not me all the time. I'm right now, I only have a segment on the immune class, I think. And um, so you see a bunch of different providers. So it's kind of fun to get a different viewpoint and really, you know, they're curated. So you cherry pick good information in the master classes. So um, uh, I think they're awesome and you go at your own pace. So, and they come with free consults. It's, I think it's a winning combination. You guys let us know if you think the same thing. Um, all righty. So we'll see Jill next Monday for meditation. And uh, let us know if you need us. Anything else, Julie Bean? Nope. Have a wonderful day. It's beautiful outside. It's, be it's going to get hot this week. It's supposed mm -hmm. to hit like 90 or something. So, uh, yep. Stay well and let us know how we can help you and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye everyone.